Welcome to this lecture in which uh, you will learn uh, how to promote sustainable food and make it really attractive. This lecture is based on a set of researches that showed uh, how to catch the attention of guests also in unusual food or food that not everybody eats. This is very important for sustainability because we have to use an approach from nose to tail so by using all the parts of the animal and from, uh, from leaves to roots by using all the parts of the plants. This was the normality in the past. In the past with few resources we used everything of animals and vegetables. We have to come back also because many of the body parts of the animal or the parts of the vegetables that we don't usually eat are nutritious and healthy and also have very good properties. So it's not only about sustainability, it's also about health. One of the challenges is to make it unusual food to customers and if you prepare it very well, why not to give a very good experience. In the past, in the period of war, there was a very important advertising to promote the consumption of organ meat because it was not eaten by all but very present and also something that uh, is generally wasted. A recent research showed that uh, nearly 50% of the animals slaughtered are uh, directly finished to waste because people only eat some parts of the body, eat so only the best uh, cuts and only some parts of the body. Whereas uh, some organ meat can be even healthier and have very good properties and also can be a culinary experience because in many traditions and in very luxury restaurants this kind of meat is valorized very well. So how to do it? We can do it with several strategies of selling which are summarized in a research created by Kai and colleague. If we are curious about the US advertising of the journal Life of 1942 actually the strategies was the following strategies was to show that organ meat, which was called variety meat, so without using the word organ, is that it's nutritious and the properties are similar to other types of meat, that in other culture these are a delicacy and also that there are some better properties in terms of vitamins for the customers. So it was something to create attention to the general audience, to the type of meat that was actually wasted. But now we have to use other strategies. This research by Kai and colleague, uh, which is very recent, interviewed uh, 20 actors of the restaurant. So professional chefs, good ones, and the representative of uh, big restaurant chains that proposed uh, organ meat to the general uh, population and uh, sold uh, very well. One suggestion is the following. Tell the truth. Tell the truth is very important first for transparency but second because you don't want to create a misleading situation with your customer maybe that customer reject a lot of specific ingredients if you don't tell things clearly you can have a uh, uh, asymmetry with uh, your customer so tell the truth mention uh, what uh, what's inside the dish but uh, maybe you can focus on a specific angle. You can focus the attention, for example, not only on the ingredient. This is the ingredient, this is the organ, which is a minimal description. Move the attention, for example, on the way in which that ingredient is cooked, maybe very slowly cooked. Or move the attention to an expectation of taste or an expectation of uh, texture of that one. So you have to tell the truth, but you have to move the angle and the point of view of, of, of your guest. A second thing you can do, which is a suggestion, is to reduce the quantity. So if you do something like in small little bites, you can catch the attention more and you can also encourage people that usually do not eat that kind of organ by telling the quantity is little, try it. This is very important also when you make reference to your specific rural areas because for example you can move the attention to the story of that specific ingredient which is not usual in the maybe in your audience your audience may be international and do not know 
but you can stimulate the attention, the curiosity, the sense of adventure by proposing uh, organ meat which are typical from uh, your region. For example, from, uh, for my province, uh, which is Foggia in the southern Italy, we prepare uh, torcinelli. Torcinelli is the intestines and uh, this is not eaten by many people, but it's excellent, I can uh, assure you. Uh, but you can use this sense of adventure to stimulate your audience to try it, because it's very, very good. Another thing you can do and you can teach waiters to do this is to read the table. Try to understand how the table is open to try new things and read the body language of your customers while proposing different type of food. Maybe you can only also just mention this option and just catch the attention of your customers in this. One thing which is very interesting and possible to do is also to include uh, this kind of organ meat in a sequence. If you include it in a testing menu, you will encourage the person to try it because it's inside the sequence. If you give a motivation to users and to customers to try, or maybe because there is a sequence, or maybe because there is a reason of expectation of taste, you will give them extra motivation and the, the guests will be more motivated to try. Because as you can, can imagine, organ meat has a strong flavor, so you can use this strong flavor as a game, as a, a sequence. Inside a sequence, the person will understand that will be a, a reason of trying uh, that sequence of meat. Another thing you can do is to familiarize or use familiarization strategies. For example, you may have uh, ravioli in uh, your restaurant, ravioli filled pasta. And these ravioli are the strength of your menu, because maybe your regionals are very used or because for, uh, you are specialized in this. You can do, for example, three traditionals, three classics, vegetable, chicken, meat, whatever, and the classics of your region. And maybe you can do a fourth with organ meat. What happens? The person will have a familiarization because you actually use the ravioli, which, is, which are very popular, but you created variation. So the more you use these uh, little bites, little options, familiarization uh, options, the more that person will tell, okay, let's try. It's a ravioli with something else, but it's ravioli. So the more you use words that the person already know, the more it will be familiarized and the more that person will uh, try. And you will show, of course, that if, if you have the great skills, you can uh, adopt these skills and propose excellent uh, food preparation with parts of the ingredients that not all people uh, eat, like organ meat, but also roots or other parts of the vegetables that people usually do not eat. So try this in your restaurant. I thank you very much for your participation in this module. Thank you.